what's going on guys today we're out here and we're doing some fly fishing really excited to be out here on the pond again got a few different flies i'm going to give a shot today going after bluegill and bass gotta love it really excited stay tuned and enjoy so we're going to be ripping some lips pretty overcast day but it's still pretty warm it's got to be low 90s high 80s it was 95 before the clouds rolled in but i think it's dropped a little bit so stay tuned and let's see if we can get some There's the first one. Had about 10 bites before I got them hooked. This is a new bait that I've never tried before. It's got a little foam on the back. It's keeping it, that fly right up top. First bluegill of the day. Awesome little fish, about a seven inch bluegill. One thing that's tough is that this bait is really big. The hook's perfect for the bluegill. That foam's keeping it up top and it's a little bigger. So it's kind of hard for these bluegill to suck it down, I believe. They're going after it hardcore though. Yeah, there was a bite right there. I just can't get them to connect all the way. May have to go down in size. Well, I've had about 10 different hooks on this bait so far and I'm just, I'm not real happy with that. The uh, hookup ratio. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch, I think. I'm gonna see what else I got. Switching over to a bait that's a little bit larger than the last one. It doesn't have that massive amount of foam on it though, so it's gonna sink some. But I think it may be a bluegill killer. We're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. It's a really bright yellow. It's kind of got like a spider look like to it. It's missing half the uh, little rubber pieces that go off of it. I've used it quite a bit before and I've had some good luck on other ponds with bass and bluegill. So we're gonna see if we can catch something today on it. Tons of bluegill in here, a lot of beds. And these bluegill are still on these beds too, so that's gonna make it pretty easy, I think. There's a good bass. First bass of the day. I inhaled it, it's like I almost hit him right on the head with it. man that's awesome she really inhaled that bait too hook comes right out <clears throat> working with about a 14 inch bass here right off these bluegill beds so you can tell that that guy's definitely feeding on those bluegill that's what's nice about some of these smaller baits while they can catch a lot of bluegill bass will still go after them There's one. Really pretty bluegill. Really bright belly. That gum, that's beautiful. A lot of blues, a lot of purple, bright, bright yellowish orange on bottom. Gorgeous bluegill. Caught a few fish from that spot, so we're going to work our way down a little bit now. There's a few more beds over here. A lot of bass in the corner as well, not big bass. Sometimes they bite, sometimes they won't, but there's usually some gills still over here. There's a nice bluegill. Kind of released my line a little too soon. I knew there'd be one over here. About the same size as the last one's not as pretty in color, but I mean, I don't know what gets better than that. That's just completely inhaled bait. This bluegill really had that bait far down in there. I think he'll be okay. I don't think it got any of his gills, but it was certainly deep. That just shows you how much they're into it. There's another gill. There was a bass right next to it. I was really eyeballing him, but this guy ended up coming for it. I don't know if he ate it or if it... Oh, I don't think he actually ate it. I think it was just right next to it. There we go, nice bass. Cool. Second bass of the day comes on that same little yellow fly. Fly's getting a lot of action today. It's almost like he had no idea what hit him. He's definitely been caught before. He's got a few holes in his lip. 
think he wants to get back down there. There he goes. There's a good bluegill. It's been a few minutes. That's a nice one. I think this is a pumpkin seed. Bluegill. You can usually tell that by how many spots and different colors there are on them. I may be mistaken. There's a lot of different speckles on here. I like the northern pike of bluegill, all the dots. There we go. Got him. Really pulling hard. This is a weird hook too. I'm not sure how good the placement is. He's pulling good though. There he is. I don't know how that happened, but I got him right on the outside of his head. I think he was really going for it and decided to, you know, swat at it or something similar to that. And uh, he fell victim to the fly, I guess. Thick fish, really healthy in here. I think they're munching on these bluegills. They're a really good bluegill. Dang, pulling hard. That's a quality bluegill. It's a little unfortunate that he he hooked himself though because uh, there were two bass that I could see just deep down in there, about three feet that were really chasing this bait. They'd come up to it, they'd stop, they'd come back, they'd pause. So let's see if maybe this time we can hook those bass. I'm sure they're still in the area. A lot of wind. Never fished much on the fly in the wind, so. Not only is fly fishing difficult, but add in some wind. Unbelievable. Not necessarily the best day to do it, but best day to practice to get better. There we go. Nice size bluegill. This one come right off the beds. I didn't even realize there were beds in this area. Quick release. Oh, there you go. There's actually quite a few beds. Since the rain we've gotten the past couple of days, a lot of these weeds are a lot more exposed and those beds can be seen easily. Another solid bluegill. These bed bluegill really, really pull hard. They put up a great fight for a uh, little fly fishing. Boom. Another one. They really choke that bait. It's like they do not want anything on their beds. Some people might want to know how I know that there's beds here. It's pretty easy. It's, it might be hard to see on the camera, but it's pretty easy to see in person with a pair of polarized glasses. You just look down in the water and you can see perfectly made circles. And that usually means that there's some bluegill bedding or bass there. Basically, they're opening up the ground a little bit. Usually, there's a pretty nice solid bottom, a little rock in there, some sand. You don't want it to be too mushy or there's probably not going to be many fish in it. So that's a good test too is when you're looking. Poke your pole down there and see if see if it's kind of strong, kind of feels like it's got some good support. That usually means there's going to be some bluegill in there. There we go. That's the biggest one of the day by far. A nice little one ounce bass. I'm not sure if this is even makes one ounce, but that gummy sure is a pretty one. You hold it way out there. It looks big. Biggest one of the day. Woo! Back in. See that splash? The thing was a monster. The large mouth in here are not really cooperating today. Sometimes you can come out here and catch quite a few of them. I'm not sure if we just haven't found them yet or what, but a lot of the fish that are going after it are definitely the bluegills. Bluegill are really fired up. You put it right on their bed. They do not want it there long, so they will pick it up and try to move it or eat it. There's a good one. I'm going to flip him up here a little bit. There we go. Pretty good palm-sized gill. Very, very green up top. Absolutely incredible colors. I'm going to have to go to Bass Pro or some local tackle shops or something and pick up a few more of these bluegill baits. 
because a lot of these flies are just getting eaten to death by these bluegill and they're starting to rip feathers and hair off and bluegill fishing on the fly is just incredible so so i'm definitely going to want to get a few more flies that way i can keep the best baits in the water and i want to see what other baits will work as well because a lot of these flies are very unique and there's so many different kinds there's unlimited possibilities of what what someone could tie so what else there is because they don't have a lot of fly fishing experience there's one just a little guy every time i set the hook i'm hoping it's a bass but it's usually just them little dinky bluegill There's a really good one, really far out there too. It's a thick one. It really has a gut on him. Got some pretty cool stripes on this one. There's another section of beds right here. And these beds obviously have got some fish on them. I can see quite a few in there. So I'm not shocked to be able to get one off there. There's a few more nice sized ones in here. So I wouldn't be shocked if we can pull another one out. There we go, another good one. There we go, flipping them up here. Very nice gill, it's incredible. You just gotta do like a, two twitches and a real quick half second pause. And in that pause, these fish will come up and just eat that bait so fast, you'll hardly have time to even notice what happened. There's quite a few bluegill in this little pocket as well. There we go. Usually these fish will pick that bait up and then sit it down if you don't set the hook. That time I wasn't paying as good of attention. The fish completely grabbed it and just kept swimming. There we go. Nice little bass. It's been a few minutes since I caught one, but we'll take this guy. One of the smaller bass of the day, but we'll still take it. Anything on the fly is exceptionally awesome. There we go. Nice bluegill. Really is a good one. One of the better ones of the day, if not the best. I don't think this one was on the bed. He hit it three, four times, and uh, that last time, he just couldn't, couldn't resist and took the whole thing. There we go. This is actually a large amount right off the bluegill beds. All right. Now that he's settled down a little bit. Absolutely choked this bait. Completely gone. Inhaled it. Comes out really easily though. I think we're going to end the day with this large mouth. Kind of looks like a small mouth. He's so brown. But uh, really great day out here. A lot of, a lot of large mouth. A lot of bluegill, a lot of fun. Put him back. He's gonna grow to be 10 pounds. Oh my gosh. Another one while I was reeling my line in to be done for the day. Well, this is officially the last one. And it's not the same one. About the same size though. There we go. Last green back of the day. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. A lot of fish out here today, it's a great time. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next Upstream Outdoors. Peace y'all. Okay. There you go, that's, that's good technique, just a little shorter though. Got him, got him, set that. There you go. Keep reeling, keep reeling. There you go. 100% getting the hang of it, aren't you? Yeah, come closer. Well, I'm done fishing, but she wanted to hook one, so. What was his first one on fly today? Nice little 12 inch largemouth, but there's some big ones in there. There was one right next to it that was a little bit bigger.